Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. How was your week? How was your week? Can you hear me? Me escucha? Yes, teacher. Okay, me escucha bien o me escucha uh, interferencia? Hay interferencia, teacher. Okay. Bueno, entonces intentaré sin los headsets. Yo les escucho más claro con, con los headsets, pero no sé por qué no... no... Ya se escucha mejor. ¿Sí me escuchan mejor? Sí. Okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. Let me share my screen. Okay, let me just change to silent mode. <clears throat> Okay, let me share my screen. <clears throat> Can you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much for being on time. Welcome everyone. Um today Sorry. Well, today is Monday, Monday, uh March 13, we're going to start the, not the class number nine, okay, for this, for this model three, the class number nine. We're going to, to start with the simple past, okay, simple past statements, regular verbs, you know, that we have irregular in regular verbs, but today we're going to study regular verbs, okay? Do you know the difference? ¿Saben la diferencia entre los verbos regulares y los irregulares? No, teacher. No? No. no. Okay. No problem. Don't, don't worry. So today we're going to start with the regular verbs. Okay, uh, the agenda for today, at the end of this class, the students will speak in simple past, okay? Vamos a empezar a hablar en pasado. Ya estuvimos aprendiendo a hablar en presente. Vimos el going to, que es para hablar en futuro. Ahora vamos a ver el tiempo pasado. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> I have bears here in three three different ways. Which one do you think that is the correct one? 
Play. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta? I play it. Play it. Play. Uh -huh. I played basketball yesterday. Played. Play. Okay. Yes, that is correct. She la she lives she lives she live or she live. Which she one lived. Lived. She live. lives? She lives. Okay. She lived in the in that house last year. Okay. Okay, good. <clears throat> I wash, I washing, or I wash? I wash. Number one. Number one, I washed. Okay. El sonido de la P al final. Cuando es en pasado, lleva un sonido al final. Okay. Wash. Like T, okay, como la T. I watched Batman last night. Okay. My father traveled, traveled, or traveled. Travel, travel, travel. The first Travel. one, the second or the third one? The second one. The second one? The second. The Are you sure? First. first Are you one. sure? Okay, let's try with the second one. The second. Okay, good. <clears throat> My grandma married, married, or married? Married. 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 Okay. My grandpa in 1960. Okay, good. We study, we study, or we study. We study, we study. Okay. You walking, you walking, you walk, or you walk? You walk. Okay. To, to a school this morning. Okay, very good. My friend and I listen, listen, or listen, listen, listen. To music last Listen. The third one? Yes, okay. Listen. Okay, good. We have all of them correct. Very good. Okay. Todos los verbos que vimos en esos ejemplos son regulares. Okay. No hay ninguno irregular. ¿Qué hay de una, una regla que ustedes notaron en los verbos cuando terminan? Todos tienen ID. Al final. Ok, todos tienen ID al final. Ok, very good. So that is what we are going to study today. Ok, to start this unit, this new unit, the unit uh, is called Did You Have Fun? Ok. Um, did es el tiempo pasado de, de do. Ok. Cuando hacemos preguntas con do you, 
¿ok? Por ex, for example, si estamos en el tiempo presente, yo le preguntaría, do you have fun? Do you have fun? Se está divirtiendo en el momento, ¿ok? Pero ahora que ya es pasado, tú te divertiste. Did you have fun? Vean cómo cambia. Esa es la diferencia, ¿ok? De do, que es en presente, se pasa a did, did. en pasado. Ahora cuando ustedes quieren hacer una pregunta en pasado, van a, van a utilizar el auxiliar did. ¿Ok? En, en los casos que aplica, por supuesto. ¿Ok? Y tenemos una pregunta en, en present, ¿ok? Do you hate to do these things? <clears throat> the, all the activities that you can see here. What other things do you hate to do? Why? ¿Ok? Top eight things people hate to do. I don't know you, but maybe some people, yes, they hate to do it. Stand in line, okay, hacer una fila. Do laundry, lavar su ropa. Travel to work, okay. Travel by bus, right, to work. Go to meetings, okay, hacer una, estar en reuniones. Exercise, okay. Working in the yard, trabajar en el jardín. Clean the house, okay. Open the mail. So, probably some people they hate to do that. Do you what? What are these things? Do you hate to do? Uh huh. I hate number five. Number five? Exercise? Yes. Do <laughs> exercise? Why? I don't know. I don't like. It is difficult. If we yeah. don't have if we don't have the habit to do it, um we don't like it. Okay. Cuando ya usted tiene crea el hábito, su, su cuerpo se lo pide, <laughs> pero si no lo creamos. Va a ser muy difícil. Okay. Yes, too. Okay. Geraldine, what kind of things do you hate? I, I hate standing in line. Standing in, in, in line, yes. It's very boring. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you, Geraldine. What about you, uh, Marjorie? Mm, standing line. Standing in a line. Okay. Norma? Mm -hmm. mm. Clean the house. Clean the house. Okay. Patricia? Um, stand in a line. Stand in a line, okay. What about you, Sandra? For me? Mm -hmm. in, I had travel by bus. Travel to work by bus, okay. And I go to the, go, go to the banks or east. Okay. Thank you, Sandra. What about you, Lillian? Lilian Eunice? Um, work in the yard. Work in the yard. Okay. Maria Santos? Maria Santos? Lopez? Present teacher. Yes. What do you hate to do? These things that you can see there. Uh -huh. No one? Not this year. Okay. 
Do you mind, guys, if you send a link in, in the chat? El link de la clase, por favor envíenlo. Que alguien me lo, me lo está pidiendo. No tengo acceso ahorita. Someone that can do it, please. En el grupo, please. Okay, Catherine Andrea. Catherine Andrea, what do you hate to do? Catherine? No se me escucha. Now, yes. Okay. And I hate clean the house uh, because it's very tired. <laughs> okay. Clean the house. Okay. Thank you. Francisco Valmore, Maldomara soy. Yeah. Office clean the house. Mm -hmm. In exercise. In exercise. Okay. Luis Miguel, what about you? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, maybe a stand, a stand in line. Stand in line. Okay. Almost every everybody hate to do that. Reina Isabel. Um, stand in line. Okay. Thank you. Ingrid Magdalena. Different. Uh, do laundry. Do laundry. Okay. Uh, Carlos Ramirez. Carlos Ramírez. <clears throat> hey, let me clean the house. Clean the house. Clean the okay. house. Patricia Saraí. Travel to work. Travel to work? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Jenny Elizabeth. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Yes. What uh what kind of these scenes do you hate to do? Um I hate um ironing clothes, creo que se dice. Okay. Yes. I don't the closed. Okay. Azucena. Thank you, Jenny. Azucena Guadalupe. Present. Yes. Do you hate to do these things that you can see in the screen or order that you may hate? Um, are you spend study? Do you hate it study? Yes. But is that in what? <laughs> Anything? Um, All the subjects? Um, no sé cómo decirla. Math? What kind of subject do you hate? Because I guess you have one favorite. And there is one that you hate. Um, Matt. Okay. Thank you, uh, Susana. Jose Alejandro? Sí, miss. Yes, what kind of, uh, do you hate to do these things or, or other things that you hate to do? Do laundry. Do laundry. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Normally set? Crespin, normally set. Norma? Lisette Crespin. Mm. 
You, do you have to clean the house? Ok. Otra vez se le arruinó el micrófono, Norma. Please try to fix it. Ok. Stephanie Carolina. Um, work in the yard. Work in the yard. Okay. How do you feel, Stephanie? Are, are you taking medicine? Perdón. ¿Está tomando medicina? Sí, lo que pasa es de que como yo vivo en alto y a veces recibo clases afuera en la parte del patio y mm. nortea demasiado, entonces recibo lo helado y ha estado como haciendo brisa y ha estado bien helado aquí donde yo vivo. Mm, ok, I'm sorry, but take, sí. take, uh, take como, care, ok. Padre con los bronquios, entonces por eso soy bien propensa a eso. I understand. Take care. Thank you. Ok, Moisés Giovanni, tell me. Do you hate to do these things that you see in the screen or other things that you hate? Moises? Giovanni? Jennifer Vanessa, what about you? Jennifer Vanessa? <clears throat> okay, I will take notes for the one that don't participate. It seems that you are not in the class. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you have problems with the microphone, please let me know. Oh, okay, Jennifer is working. Okay, thank you for le letting me know. Okay, good. Um, I have a, there is a conversation, okay? Please read this conversation, everyone, by yourself. The name of the conversation is it's called, I didn't study, okay? I will read it for you, then you're going to read it for me. Try to identify the past tense, okay? Identifiquen el tiempo pasado en las oraciones. Michael says, hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Jennifer says, well, I had a busy weekend. I, I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped and then visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay. So he didn't study. Did you identify the, the past tense? We have questions. Tenemos preguntas en pasado. Y tenemos también las respuestas en pasado. Okay. The first question that we have is did, okay. Did you have a good weekend? Ahí podemos identificar el, 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 la auxiliar de did, ok, en la pregunta. Did you have a good weekend? Ok. Tuviste un buen fin de semana. Well, I have a busy weekend. I have. Ok, en pasado. Tuve. Ok. Ok, I, I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercised in the morning, okay, hice ejercicio en la mañana, I cleaned, hice limpieza, did laundry, 
también hizo la lavandería en shop, compró, ¿ok? And I visited my parents. Y visitó a sus padres. Ok, another question. What did you do on Sunday? Ok, ahí tenemos un WH question, but in past tense. What did you do on Sunday? Ok, no confundan los dos verbos. que estamos, Tenemos el verbo do como auxiliar, que es did, y tenemos también como verbo. Ok, what did you do on Sunday? ¿Qué hiciste el, el domingo? I studied for the test all day. Ok. Do we have a test today? Aquí estamos hablando de ahorita, ok, en tiempo presente. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. Yo no estudié. Ok. I just watched television all weekend. Ok. Um, who wants to participate? Volunteers? Ok, good. Ok. Luis and Marjorie, go ahead. You will be Michael, Luis. Ok. Hi, Jennifer. Did you, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a booty weekend and I feel a little today, 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 tired, tired today. Tired. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, uh, I exercise in the morning, then my room, roommate and I clean it, the laundry and show bed and, and, the, and then I visit. My parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the list all day. Oh no! Do we have a day a test today? I did a study. A study. I just watching watch television all weekend. Okay, good. It try to emphasize. Ya vamos a ver la diferencia entre la pronunciación del, de los verbos. Vamos a ver las reglas cuando la terminación del, del verbo se pronuncia con, con D, okay, con la D, cuando es ED y cuando es T. Tenemos tres terminaciones del, del sonido cuando estamos hablando en tiempo pasado, ¿ok? Ya vamos a ver la diferencia y vamos a repasarlo. Ok, but try to emphasize in the pronunciation of the past tense. Ok. Uh, cleaned. Ok, cleaned. It's, it's like a D at the end. Ok. Shopped. It's like T at the end. Shopped. Ok. Visited. Ok, it's ED at the end. Visited. Ok. Um, study, study is like D at the end. Washed is like T, okay? Washed, T at the end, okay? Try to emphasize um, the past tense, okay? Porque cuando estamos hablando en pasado, la diferencia, la diferencia que va, se va a notar es la pronunciación del verbo. ¿Ok? Díganme... Uh, veo televisión en presente y yo vi televisión eh, ayer. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cómo lo harían? I watch TV. I watch TV. ¿Y el otro? I watched. Uh -huh. I TV. watched TV yesterday. Ok. Ok. Good. Ok. Very good. Thank you, Luis and Marjorie. Now we participate uh, Catherine Andrea and Ingrid Maudalena. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? 
Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Washed. Watch. Washed. 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 Okay. Washed. Yes. Um, in this case, is no wash it. Okay. Es como la terminación en T al final. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Madalena and Catherine. Now will be Francisco Valdomar and Lilian Eunice. Go ahead. Okay. I am Michael. Yes. Hi, hi Jennifer. Did you have a very good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really, why? Well, um, Saturday I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and shopping. And then I visit, visit, visited and my partner. So what did you? So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I don't study. I just watch television at weekend. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't study. I just watched I didn't study. television all weekend. Okay, yes, thank you, Francisco. And uh, you're welcome. I forgot her name, <laughs> but thank you. Okay, Geraldine and uh, Reina Isabel. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have. Uh, this weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Why? Well, on Sunday, I exercised in the morning, then my room, and a cleaner did laundry in shop, and then uh, visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test I did. Oh no, a test today. I didn't study. Just watch it all weekend. Pero más allá de tener el video, puede traer a cualquier de las. Okay. Yes. Just try to emphasize the pronunciation of the verbs. Okay, in past tense. You are going to have as a homework uh, review the pronunciation of the verse. Okay, you are going to study the past tense of the verse. Okay, thank you so much. Now, Maya Santos and Norma, Leticia. Sorry, teacher. Ahorita tengo cómo se llama este ruido. Okay, no problem. It's okay, Norma. Someone who wants to participate with Maria Santos? Sí, Tisha. Okay, Patricia. Go ahead, Patricia. Maria Santos. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend uh, and I feel a little tired today. Really, why? 
Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roomy and I clean it. The loudering, loudering and shopping, and they visit, visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all the day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all, all weekend. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, just try to, yes, again, try to practice, okay? Practice and practice uh, the past uh, tense, okay? Well, we're going to move on to the next, next activity. Uh, we're going to uh, study more about the past tense. I have a video for you. Let me send the link in order you can listen to the pronunciation. Just let me send it. The pronunciation of some words and some words and examples that you will receive here. Let me send it by the chat in Zoom. And let me send it here uh, in WhatsApp too. Okay, there you have it. Try to play to play the video, please. Escucha mi sonido. Sí. Sí. Escucha sí, mi sonido sí. si pongo el, si lo si lo pongo en la compu. Sí se escucha. Sí se escucha. ¿Sí? Ah, okay. ah, okay.
Okay. Did you finish? Yes. yes. There you have some there you have some some rules, okay? When we are going to uh, use the um, regular verbs and what letters you are going to change, okay? Uh, for example, when the very end in E, like this one that you can see in the screen, you still are going to add the letter D, okay? What else did you learn? ¿Qué más aprendieron? Cuando termina en P, hay que pegarle otra P. Okay. P. Algunas consonantes se van a doblar, ¿ok? Ajá. En algunos casos, ¿ok? What else? ¿Otra regla? En el caso de los verbos que llevan este Y al final, por ejemplo, state, solo se le agrega ED sin poner la I. Ok. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Another example would be study, the one that we can see here. But in the, uh -huh, here, study pasado, study. Ok. Good. Okay, there you have all the rules um, that you can review, okay? And also we are going to review more later on. Okay, according to the grammar that is in the, in, in the material, we have here some examples, okay? Simple past statements, regular verbs, okay? I studied on Sunday, okay? That is positive statement. Um, negative statement, I didn't study on Saturday, okay? Lo que usted va a agregar es el negativo al did. Le va a agregar el negativo al did. Didn't or did not. Puede ser, puede ser eh, contraction o no, okay? Eh, y el verbo queda normal, ya no le va a cambiar nada porque aquí ya lleva la, el auxiliar de did cuando es pasado, ¿ok? You watch television, ¿ok? That is in, in, in positive statement, negative statement. I didn't watch a movie, ¿ok? She stayed home, ¿ok? Positive, negative. I she didn't stay out. Okay. We shopped for groceries. Okay. Negative. We didn't shop for gro for clothes. They exercise on Saturday. Negative. They didn't exercise on Saturday didn't or did not is the same, okay? Here is con contracted, here is normal, okay? We have another uh, example of birds here, washed, washed, okay? Exercise, exercised, study, studied, stay, Stayed, shopped, shopped, okay? So we need to make sure that we emphasize in the pronunciation of these past tenses, okay? We have here some examples, okay? In order you can practice. Let me move this.
Okay, maybe you can see it better. Okay, there are three possible pronunciation of, of regular verbs in English. You pronounce ed like t, ed like d, and ed like ed. Okay. In words that end with, aquí tenemos los sonidos, las palabras, las letras con las que terminan los los que terminan en, en la pronunciación en t. Okay, on voice sounds. Por ejemplo, los que terminan con P, K, P, K, Sh, K, Sh, Sh, S, F, H, Y, en ese otro sonido que es como A, F, K, como F. Más o menos como una F fuerte. Se va, la, la, la terminación sería la pronunciación en T. ¿Ok? Tenemos, por ejemplo, eh, stop. ¿Ok? Stop. La pronunciación sería como con T. ¿Ok? Stop. Stop. ¿Ok? Stop. La pronunciación al final sería con T al final. Okay, and ya en pasado. Eh, por ejemplo, wash. Okay, washed. Okay. All the the verbs that you that you see that end with these letters, la pronunciación sería con t en pasado. Okay. Con i d, perdón, con d. Todos los que terminan con voice, sound, okay? vowel and consonants. Tenemos D, G, Z, D, M, N, L, R, W, J, en este otro sonido. Que probablemente a ustedes ahorita les cuesta identificar. Pero eh, poco a poco, cuando ya vayan uh, avanzando, van a ir descubriendo cuándo va ese sonido, ¿ok? Y tenemos los que terminan con ED, que son más que todos los que terminan con T en D. Estos son bien fáciles de aprenderse, los que terminan con ED. Son todos esos verbos que terminan con T en D. Por ejemplo, visit. Okay, termina con T. Entonces es visited, right? El sonido sería con ED al final. Esos son los más fáciles de identificar. Por ejemplo, pain, okay? En pasado sería painted, right? Painted. Okay? Tell me one that end with D. Díganme uno que termine con D. Hated. Hated. Sorry. Hated. H-A-T-E-D. Okay. Give me another one that end with D. Uno que termine con D. Ajá, en el chat. Cleaned. En el chat. Clean. Que termine con D. D. Por ejemplo, depend, 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 it, ok. Uh, defend. Defend it. Find. Comprehend. Comprehend it. Uh -huh. Todos los que terminan con D, al final serían como ED, el sonido, y los que terminan con T, ¿ok? Como ED. 
Here we have examples of, uh, ending with a T, D, and ED. You can see here the examples. For example, dance, okay? Danced, okay? Danced. Open, opened, okay? Ending with D. Okay, we're going to complete this here, but we're going to go to the link that I have for you in order we can practice. Let me go to that link. I will send it to you in order you can have it. Lo voy a mandar para que lo tengan y también practiquen. Let me send it in the chat. Let me send it in WhatsApp. Okay, here we have uh, the verb. Tenemos el verbo en presente, luego lo tenemos en pasado, <clears throat> luego tenemos la descripción fonética, que si ustedes se van a un diccionario, la descripción fonética es esta. Y la pronunciación, si termina con, la pronunciación si es con ed, si es con t, o es con d. Okay, the examples that we have here, Ahí lo van a tener ustedes en el link para que los puedan ver después. And you can practice. Okay. We have act. Okay. In past. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo lo pronunciarían? Look at this. Active. Active. Okay. Act. Added. Added. Mm -hmm. Dependiendo la phonetic description, así es como lo van a pronunciar, ¿ok? Ask. Ask. Ask it. Ask. It is like ask. 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 Like T, ¿ok? Answer. 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 D. Okay. Arrive. Arrive. Arrived. 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 The the well, D. Okay. Brush. Brush it. Brushed. Mm -hmm. Brushed. Brushed. T. Okay. And so on. There you have a, a list. Tienen una gran lista aquí que pueden practicar y así van a ir aprendiendo eh, a usar esa regla, ¿ok? Uh, más que todo, memorization, ¿ok? Tienen que memorizar esto, eh, los que terminan en esto. ¿En qué termina? ¿En qué sonido termina? Así va a ser el sonido del final. Try to practice because this week we are going to you be using these verbs, okay? We're going to be using these verbs. How do you use them, okay? Uh, les mandé el link. As a homework, you, will, you are going to complete these sentences. It's also in the material. También las tienen en el material. Y van a completar estas. Y mañana las vamos a revisar, okay? That will be your homework for tomorrow. Complete this exercise. Están en el material. Ok. Número de página, teacher. Mm, let me see. Let me check.
Let me see. It is in page 93. La página 93, después de, después de que ven esto, donde dice Grammar Focus, ahí está. Thank you, Yela, ya la vi, es, ¿cómo se llama el, el B? Uh -huh. Okay, let me tell you the attendance. Um, because it's almost time to go. Okay, Kenya Denise. Alicia Gabriela. Esa no es nuestra lista, Miss. Sí, perdón. Estoy en la incorrecta. Estoy en la de las entre, en la de las nueve. Sorry. Oh. There are a lot of lists here. This. Oh my God. Where ah, is here? From night, from eight to nine. Okay, Adriana, Araceli, Adriana Araceli. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz, Ana Maricela. Andrea Eugenia. Andrea Eugenia. Yo recuerdo que la vi. Que ya su cena. Present. Que okay. a ah, Francisco Valdomar. Present, Chero. Geraldine. Present teacher. Ingrid Maudalena. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Jennifer Vanessa. Jennifer. Vanessa. Jenny Elizabeth. Ah, sí, me respondió. Okay, Jennifer Elizabeth. Okay, José Alejandro. Present, Miss. Ok, uh, Juan Carlos Ramírez. Present teacher. Uh, Caterica Andrea. Present. Eh, Lourdes María. Perdón, Lilian Agunice. Presente. Lourdes María Méndez. Luis Miguel. Presente. María Santos López. Present teacher. Marjorie. Present. Moises. Moises. En el chat describió Moises. En el chat. Ok. Uh, thank you, Moises. Norma Leticia. Present teacher. Norma Lisset. Crespin. Ok. Li... Patricia Lisset. Present. Patricia Saraí. Present. Reina Isabel. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. And remember to study a lot for, uh, I mean, the present 
sorry, the past tense, okay? The pronunciation of the verse and try to memorize the rules when you're going to pronounce with uh, D, T, and ED, okay? And okay. work on the exercises for tomorrow. We're going to resolve them tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good Take night. care. Bye.